Today I'm chatting with Jenny Powell. You might know her from television. You might have seen her on television with me at some point. Oh, is she's, that where She's there, full screen. She's there, full screen. Yeah, yeah, you're there. Let's oh, move in. It. Let's move in, let's get Can into you? it. Oh, that's brilliant. Wait, look, I've got that. I bought this for my birthday. She's bought a microphone for a birthday. It's a birthday, so we're celebrating with some alcoholic water. Right, why have you got tonic water? I ain't got tonic water. I've got Budweiser. Oh, yeah, if you drink booze, it goes on your belly. End up. It do not because I go well, BMX in. <laughs> happy birthday. Oh, thank you. I'm at that age. I'm just quite happy with them. Um, like, I like elasticated waist now, and I bought my first pair of Ugg boots this year. How old are you? <laughs> I know it's that's like a rude question, and I wouldn't normally ask it, but it's your birthday. 52! Wow. Have you lied before on, about your age for telly? No. Oh, Have you? I always lie about my age. You're quite an enigma, really. No one really knows anything about you. It's so funny. I'm an enigma. Should we stop and start again and see if the signal's better? Okay, let, yeah. let's just um, guess where she pops up next. Are you doing a lot of reading? Do you read? Yeah, I'm reading the Book of Joy, the Dalai Lama, and... Um... Desmond Tutu. Yeah. I'm South African, so I love a bit of Desmond. Are you South African? Yeah, mum and dad are South African. It's windy there, we isn't it? We coloreds, we're brown people. You can say coloured, because in South Africa, a Cape Gullard is a race of person, and we call ourselves Cape Colours. And we go, well, what's a Cape Gullard? Well, when you put all your washing in the, in the tumble dryer, and then you clean out the fluff, and you get that purpley grey colour, that's us. So we're just a big mixture of all sorts. Ginny, don't go that time of year because you get the south easterly. It's this big wind that comes straight through the mountains. And you've got to avoid that time. It's not very good. It's really windy and all the sand blows up your nose. It did take me. Yeah, and then, yeah, there was this monkey. And then you could Your, ride your mic monkey. looks like it's my mic. Oh. Does it make you sound like you can sing? I can sing. I'll sing us somewhat then. And you are not alone. I am here with you. And though we're far away, I am here to, to stay. stay. Every day I did ask myself, why did life slip away? Something in the dirt, did you say? You are not alone. I am here with you. It's so miserable. Jenny Powell singing in the hizzles. Well, let's hope someone like Stock Aiken and Warman are watching. You might get a record deal. Ah, can't be bothered, can't be <laughs> I've got some book recommendations for you. These are three books. Okay. That I've read in my life. I've read, I've read, I've read four books. Four? I read Return of the Jedi, but it's too far to reach. It's over there what somewhere. I, I do have Return of the Jedi on my shelf, but I'll have to get up. But imagine what it looks like. It, look, it looks a bit like this, but it says Return of the Jedi in the front. You met Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone. Tell me about it. It's called An Experience With, and they're black tie dudes, like 1,500 people. Um, and then basically, we show loads of behind the scenes, loads of movie um, footage, big band, blah, blah, blah. And then I interview them on stage about, I get into my cells for like an hour and a half. Wow. 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 Were you starstruck? I always try not to be. I Did you feel like you were meeting Rocket or Rambo? I thought I was meeting Rocky because I love Rocky. Yeah. I thought every, I thought the first Rocky was just yeah. when you know the story of Rocky and, and how it like, happened. Yeah, one hundred and four dollars in his bank account. Yeah. He sold his dog. When you were with Stallone, did you ask him to do his voice that he did in Rocky? Um, I didn't. Did you ask him I to did. do his Rambo voice? No, I didn't. <laughs> Do you still own impression again? Oh, Flo. Oh, nice to meet you, Danny. It's all right. Nice to meet you. And is he eating some sweets then as well at the same time? 
It's a sock full of sand. Uh, I loved him for his because uh, I think he's a really creative guy. Yeah. He's a, he's got he's a he's a talented. Do you know when I see an him? artist like you? Arnie's different. I love what he's doing at the moment on his um social media with his bloody donkey. He's donkey <laughs> eating off his plate. It's all like all oh, this hygiene and wash your hands and his fucking donkey's eating. With his there. cigar. Of his salad. Stay at home, it's fun to stay home. Home. Get a donkey! Get the donkey and suck your big stogie. You know what I'm saying? It's good, yo. I'll loop that bit as well. Sexy, everything about you so sexy. With a stogie. <laughs> My stogie, Jenny. What the f is this? Nobody ever gives me anything. <laughs> there is death. Death is coming. <laughs> what do I do with that information? <laughs> like this. What is that? What are you doing, Keith? What That's Dracula. Doing, Keith? That's Dracula. Okay. I bought him uh, a book which was when he was a kid in Austria because he had a really shit childhood. It was the story about a Cherokee chief and a, a cowboy, and basically it's about the American dream, and that's what inspired him to get out of Austria and get to, to America. I got it in Austrian that the book was in Austria, Ooh. and he couldn't believe it, and there was like, so I made him cry. Tell that story again, but in Dracula's voice. <laughs> it's exactly the same, as you well know. <laughs> Thank you for pointing that out. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I will suck the life out of you if you're not crazy. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Sesame Street, Dracula. <laughs> I was laughing when he's counting. Wonder why he found counting so funny. I'm gonna get off because I need a wee. And whenever you feel like you want to fill the room with lights, just do your Dracula impression. I don't know what you're talking about. Now do your Annie impression. I don't know what you're talking about, Stogie, Stogie. You can see the difference a little bit, can't you? Yeah, just a little bit. Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks for making my birthday such a special one. <laughs> See ya. Or subscribe and whatever. I don't know what you say.